Friendship Armstrong School Garden. Welcome, today we are going to explore the plant parts and make a salad. Can you guess any of the plant parts? Take a minute and think. Did you guess the root? If you did, you're right. All of the plant parts are here on this poster. We have the roots, the stem, the leaf, the flower, the fruit, and the seed. How many are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plant parts. Let's see if we can find all six plant parts to make a salad. Come with me. Okay, first up, let's find the roots. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This, I think, might be roots, but not yet. Hmm. Oh, look. <gasps> Miss Tony, look, 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 look. <gasps> Do you mm -hmm. see what's popping up there? Oh, my goodness. I think we found it. Okay, I'm going to give it a pull. One, two, three. Ooh, look at this. Does anybody know? what this is? It's a turnip! That's right, it's a turnip. So this part grows under the ground and as you can see it kind of popped up. A little bit was above the ground and that's how you know it's ready. This one's a little small but I think it's gonna be delicious. And so do you see what these are? Do you see what these are? They're little root hairs. So this is the big main root and these are the little root hairs and what do they do? They pull nutrients from the soil and they help the plant grow and keep the plant stabilized or grounded in place. I'm so excited. Okay, now that we found the root, let's go find the leaves. Let's put on our observation glasses and see if we can find any leaves in this bed that we can eat. Okay, do you see any? I see some. This is called, does anyone know? Kale, this is kale. It's called dinosaur kale actually. And it's really special kale. It has kind of bumpy, um, bumpy uh, on the part on the leaves. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to harvest it, okay? So you get down low into your farmer squat and you go all the way to the bottom of the stem and you just break it right at the stem. And the leaves, what do the leaves do for the plant? What do the leaves do? What is their function? They, I'll tell you, soak up the sun. So this beautiful sun is shining down and they make the food for the plant. So they do something called, this is a big word, photosynthesis. They do photosynthesis and that means that they make food for the plant from the sun. So amazing, don't you wish we could do that? Okay, now that we found the leaf, let's go find a stem. Follow me. Get on those observation goggles. And let's see. I see some really colorful stems here. Do you see these colorful stems on this plant? Does anyone know what this plant is called? It is called Swiss chard. Swiss chard, yes. And it has really beautiful, colorful stems. So sometimes it's called rainbow chard because of the rainbow of colors. And what do our stems do? What do our stems do for the plant? Let's think. They're pretty straight. They're pretty tall. And they're connected to the, both the roots and the leaves. They move water and nutrients that the roots soak up to the leaves and to other parts of the plant. They are really, really important for that. And so I'm gonna harvest this Swiss char, similar to how I did the kale, and kind of turn to twist. And I think I'm going to eat both the leaves and the stem in my salad. And I'm probably gonna cut it up really thin, and it's gonna be a nice crunchy addition to our plant part salad. 
Okay, now that we found our stem, we are going to find our flower. Okay, come with me. Let's see. Do you have your observation glasses on? What can you see in the bed? Do I see a flower there? I don't think that's one that we can eat. Or at least it's one that I'm not sure if we can eat. <gasps> but look over here. This plant is called arugula. And arugula is really, really tasty. It, the leaves is what you usually eat, and they're kind of spicy, but you can also eat the flowers, and that is really, really fun, and they also are kind of spicy. So what do the flowers do for our plant? What do our flowers do? Can you think? Do you ever see something buzzing around a flower? A bee, right? Or even maybe a butterfly, or another kind of flying insect yeah so those insects pollinate can you say pollinate our flowers and that is really important they bring the pollen from one flower to another and without that we couldn't have our fruits our next part of the plant if we did not have pollination so flowers are really important now that we found our flower we are going to find our fruit Okay, let's find our fruit. Hmm, fruits as you might usually know them might be different, like apples you might think of, or bananas. But there are also fruits that grow in our garden right now that look like this. Can you see any of them? They kind of blend in. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, I think I found one. Does anyone know what this plant is? They're peas. You're right. They're peas. So this is the fruit because it has what inside of it? It's so, so special because it protects. Let's see. Let's open it up. If I can do this. <gasps> What's inside? Oh my gosh, they are seeds. They're seeds. So the fruit protects the seeds. It carries the seeds. And so it, after the plant grows a little more, some of these might fall to the ground and the seeds might get replanted. And it has all the energy to create a new plant. Or maybe an animal might eat it and then carry it somewhere else. And then that plant might grow somewhere else. So the fruit and the seeds are both really important to the plant and they are really delicious. Okay, do we have all of our plant parts? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have them all. So let's build our plant part salad. So these are the turnips, the roots. Them. and I chop them up a little bit into smaller pieces and they're gonna be nice I can tell this is the kale leaves this is the Swiss chard leaves really baby Swiss chard so it'll be nice and tender the Swiss chard stems I cut them up the arugula flowers and the peas which has the seeds inside and is technically a fruit so you can pour when you make your own dressing you can pour any kind of dressing on top of it when you make your own salad did i say dressing yes <laughs> when you make your own salad you can make your own dressing um we have some in the grow at home guide but really whatever you want um, to make your salad taste delicious but today, I think I'm just gonna love it just how it is. So I'm going to stir it up a little bit and then take a bite and see what it tastes like. This is a long one. Mmm. I taste the turnip. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, this was charred. Stems are really nice and crunchy. I want to get a flower in my next bite. 
and let's see if I can do that. Super long. Mmm. Mm. The arugula is really spicy, but in a good way. Like it's it's actually kind of understated. It's so yummy. So I hope that you all can make your own plant part salad or plant part meal at home with whatever you might have. See if you can't make a full plant part salad with all the six plant parts, see how many plant parts you do have and send them in if you want to Washington Youth Garden Instagram at Wash Youth Garden. You can DM us, send us a picture and we would love to see. Um, and you can also draw and write your steps to make your plant part meal in our virtual farm field trip journal. And I hope you have lots of fun and thank you for joining us today. See you next time.